all right guys so i'm fixing to take the trailer and uh get some maintenance done on it as you can tell man uh all the wheels you know look fine on this except for one so uh you know i mean this one's got plenty of tread on it as well and then you get to this one and it's like here's you know wore down this one is starting to wear down but uh you know yeah we're fixing to put new <clears throat> new uh things new brakes on it uh i'm taking it to the trailer shop to have them look at everything on it make sure everything is going to check out uh and see you know we're going to get the bearings repacked uh new brakes and uh you know hey have them look at everything and make sure everything's good to go and uh yeah we're going to get this replaced as well while i'm there because uh you know <clears throat> this is looking a little rough and uh i don't want it to look rough so i'm going to I'm probably going to buy a couple of these that way i have some on hand and don't have to worry about it anymore but uh you know i'd much rather have the security of taking it somewhere having them check everything over while they're doing all this stuff and making sure everything's fine so uh that's what we're going to do so we're going to give you you know a price on what all this is going to cost uh any issues that they may have run into if they run into any and uh yeah so let's get going all right guys so we are at big tech's trailers here we are dropping off the trailer um just literally spoke with them and uh getting everything got all the paperwork done and stuff of everything i'm wanting done i just want it fully checked out <clears throat> so we can see exactly if anything's going on if anything's wrong i'd much rather be responsible uh trailer owner than you know something happened and it'd be gone so uh he's coming with the tractor to pick it up now actually so all right guys we will keep you updated and let you know so all right guys so we're here picking the trailer up and try to keep the wind out of y'all's back here uh <clears throat> give you a little bit about what they did i got me a new breakaway uh switch here i thought it was nice so you know it's a four footer <clears throat> just take it and uh latch it <clears throat> Ta -da. <clears throat> but i don't think that's going anywhere anyhow we we hope not you know definitely hope not so uh stretch it a little bit here so when we <clears throat> but uh yeah so we've we've got uh push this up on here because that's going to drive me absolutely crazy there we go all right so i got the uh new breakaway th thing going on here and yep not too shabby man not too shabby so uh you know hey we went to like i said we went to big tech's trailers and uh <clears throat> i'll tell y'all about the bill and everything how much all this cost uh what they found so you know let me head home all right guys so we're back home and i know y'all are wondering uh about the trailer man because we took the trailer and uh <clears throat> got it completely looked at to see what was going on if anything let me get the sun out of y'all's eyes here and uh things like that so uh we got the trailer back and we're going to tell you a little bit about what it cost me and uh what was found so I had the one wheel wearing on the, the very back driver's side. Everybody said, you know, hey, out of alignment, bent axle, bad wheel, you know, uh, bearing, whatever. Uh, so I told him, I said, I don't care. You know, I just want everything checked out, change the brakes uh, if they need it, and, you know, redo all the bearings. And uh, so... <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure everything was fine, see what exactly what was going on with it. So I took it in and dropped it off. Thursday morning, Friday afternoon, they call me, say, hey man, you can come pick it up. Uh, this is your total. And I'm thinking, why is that my total? So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, that's cool. Cause I was thinking they changed the brakes and everything. 
So I get up there and uh, come to find out, he said, your brakes are actually in very good shape. All I had to do was uh, clean them up and uh, adjust them. He said uh, he pulled out all the bearings. All the bearings were totally fine. So he just repacked them uh, with, you know, new grease. And he said one of the wheels, this wheel back here, the one that had the uh, tire crazy, uh, apparently had some hard grease in it. So uh, he ended up scraping all that stuff out, cleaning it all up, you know, repacking, putting it back in. So I said, well, why is it, you know, it, it was $387 or something. And I said, well, why was it 387? I said, I was told it was only gonna be 450 if you did the brakes. I said, for the brakes, plus an hour of labor, then an hour of labor for the bearings on each axle, which was $326 plus the 120 for the brakes. So I said, it was only gonna be 450. So why is it 387? I mean, I'd honestly much rather pay for, if you didn't do the brakes, why am I being charged for that? Uh, so, you know, I said, it is what it is. You know, I'm just curious. And, uh, but anyway, long story short, uh, the manager at Big Tech's said, you know what, you've got a good point. Uh, I don't know, you know, maybe it was a miscommunication between y'all. I said, you know, it could have been, I said, I'm not going to lie. I could have, could have misheard something or whatnot. But, uh, <clears throat> I said, uh, you know what, it, it is what it is. And I, I handed him my card and, uh, he said, well, you know what, we, uh, give me a minute. He did some, some typing around and he said, we got you down to 290. I said, that's great, man. I, I really appreciate that. You know, I was just curious why it was, you know, 387 or whatever. So, uh, so come to find out guys, uh, once again, the brakes were fine. Uh, this one axle did have some hard grease in it. Kind of like, uh, and he said it was brown, kind of like the, it had got hot, but it was like very hard. Um, almost like a hard chunk of dirt or something. But he said once he got it out, it was actually grease. So uh, he's not sure what happened there, but he cleaned it all out and uh, repacked everything, put it back together, adjusted the brakes, told me all the axles are fine. Everything's good to go on this bad boy. So uh, that is what happened to the trailer. And uh, you know, I'm glad to hear that nothing was wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly glad to hear that I did not have to pay crazy money because if it would have been an axle, that would have been 400 more dollars. But uh, the axles checked out. You cannot align these apparently. Um, he said all the, uh, the uh, I can't even think of the name of it. <coughs> the bars that go underneath between the tires. Um, <clears throat> he said all the, the bare, you know, bushings and everything in them were great. Uh, he said that, you know, there was no issues with this. So, uh, all he did was readjust the, the back, you know, the brakes and, uh, repack all the bearings. So, and then, then I added, because, you know, uh, Danny likes the red and black theme and, uh, I'm sure you've seen it a minute ago, but, but, uh, I added the breakaway thing Ta -da, and it's red red yeah i like that so uh we added that to it and now everything's good everything's ready to go so uh no issues with the trailer guys it ended up being great so that's going to do it for this one y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe comment down below let me know i don't, still don't know what was wrong with the wheel since nothing is actually wrong with the whoo since not, get out of the sun uh since nothing's actually wrong with the trailer uh so anyway we're going to try to get some new wheels new tires put on that thing uh eventually but otherwise everything's great and we're ready to move on so thanks for watching we'll see y'all soon